I don't mind sleeping over tonight, Teresa, but I've got to be at the country club at the crack of dawn to teach tennis. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? Where do you want me to start, Whitney? I just spoke to you a couple hours ago. You said you were coming straight home from the Crane Mansion. Oh, you look awful. You wouldn't look too good either if you've been chased all around the Crane estate by Ethan and some vicious attack dogs. Ethan Crane stick the dogs on you? Somebody did. You wouldn't have believed it, Whitney. I was just leaving the Crane Mansion and who do I run smack into? Ethan? Oh no. He was so mad when he realized it was me that he dragged me right into the house and was about to call the police when, when I made a run for it. But I couldn't get off the estate. The walls were like 12 feet high and security locked the gates when they released the dogs. Oh, how'd you finally get away? I hid. And then I ended up in the back seat of Luis's police car. Thank God he didn't find me. Oh, brother. I have no idea what would have been worse, being caught by Ethan or my brother Luis. You are so lucky. Thanks, Whitney. Well, what do you expect me to say, Teresa? Congratulations on surviving a disaster of your own making. Well, at least I made it out of there without Ethan knowing my name. Oh, well, that's something, I guess. Now, at least you have to realize that you can't ever go back to the Cranes. Call Mrs. Crane right now and tell her that you cannot accept that job offer as her personal secretary. That job is what I've been waiting for my entire life. <sighs> It's bad enough that Ethan thought of you as a stalker around town. Now that he thinks you're psycho enough to go after him on his own property? But I wasn't stalking him. That's what it looks like. You go back to that house and they will ID you in a hot New York minute. Then your mother will get fired as their housekeeper. And they will watch as your brother puts the handcuffs on you and hauls you off to jail. You cannot go back there. You cannot take that job. And you can never ever go near Ethan Crane again. Of the one who could sing so sweet.